Hi, I'm Reed Rosfeld for Zoom In Online. I'm here with director Mitchell Lichtenstein, uh, who did Teeth, which is one of the more outrageous and highly talked about films uh, playing at Sundance this year. Well, maybe I should just ask you to tell me a little bit more about what Teeth is. Uh, well, it, it's, it's a story that's based on this myth, a uh, very uh, pervasive myth in different cultures and different religions, um, about the toothed vagina. And uh, this, the story of, of the myth, which takes many forms, is always the basic narrative is always a hero must go out and conquer the woman or tribe of women that have these this tooth vagina and become the hero and I knew you know making the story that I wanted to turn that around and that the hero would be the woman with the condition and and that she would never be conquered and uh, that it would be you know it would be seen as a positive and powerful uh, basically superpower I just wanted to ask you when you made the film, were you worried that there'd be too many films coming out about women with uh, teeth in their vaginas and that teeth would get lost in the shuffle? Yeah, I, well, I knew that, that the whole thrust of the festival was vaginal. And so I just really wanted to be ride that wave. So I wasn't worried about it because I knew I would fit it right in with, you know, I mean, that's what Sundance is all about. I think so. There was this woman sitting in front of me at the Eccles, and every time somebody got trimmed, she'd be going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I was wondering, when you made the film, were you thinking that it would fulfill this kind of profound human need? I did think that uh, there would might be certain women who would, you know, <laughs> who would cheer at some of these events. Uh, but the surprising thing is Jess Weixler, who plays Dawn, the main character, uh, has, as she's walking around town now, has uh, these guys are coming up to her and going, right on. And <laughs> so it was more of a surprise that, that for some reason guys are also turned on by this idea. So. Well, your film really frightened me. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it wasn't really the sliced penises. It was, you know, because that happens all the time over at my house. But... Um, what really frightened me was thinking about the reviews that might come from Gene Shalit or Joel Siegel. It's just a little hard for me to imagine them talking about it. <laughs> I think that if they, if they were forced to talk about it, they would find some way of making it so opaque that you didn't know what the movie was about. Now, you got the inspiration from this, uh, from Camille Paglia? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, that's uh, she was one of my favorite, most influential, influential teachers back in college, and and I learned about the Smith from her then in the context of nineteenth century literature. But uh, it it you know it percolated for some years and seemed like maybe the time was right to address this preposterous notion head on. So you don't see this film as like a film version of sex, sexual persona. It's not an adaptation. <laughs> no, but uh, but I did uh, talk to Camille and she to give me some. There, Dawn does research about vagina dentata, and so a lot of what she reads from that uh, is stuff that I got from Camille for the movie. So, are there any other authors you'd like to show the movie to, like maybe Eve Ensler? I would, you know, I would love t to have her as an honorary guest for uh, some. One log line I think of for the movie is, you know, uh, something like uh, teeth, you know, the time for talking is over <laughs> or something, you know, some <laughs> referencing her vagina monologue. Uh. <laughs> well, I was actually thinking the review might be something like, you know, a really sharp comedy that grabs you and just won't let go. Did you, when you were doing the film, I was talking to a lot of people after the screening, and you, you just cut penises and you also fingers. But did you have any ideas for other things, like maybe tongues or other things that might have been cut? Well, that is the inference in the last scene. There's an old man who, who uh, um, 
is waggling his tongue at her, and then that's sort of where we leave leave Don, and that is the inference that that's what will go. Well, you left a lot of things open for a sequel. Yeah, and, um, you know, her work is far from over. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mitchell.